everybody, you're watching Call the Corn Star. Before I jump into the video, small request. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We have good news. Pit Viper sunglasses is restocked. I repeat, they are restocked. So if you want to pick up some sweet sunglasses, if you order through the link in the description, you can get 15% off. That's right, I just found a Snickers in the tractor. So I'm gonna have a Snickers answer the questions. I know this is on your mind. You're thinking, somebody's saying, hey, I thought Daddy Cornstar was a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup man. I am, I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Today I'm having a Snickers. Gonna get the combine greased up. We're fueling it right now. I think the tractor Sable said the uh, air filter light flashed last night. So I wanna make sure I clean out the air filter. Anna's out here running around checking things out. A little bit damp right now. Wish the sun would come out, but we're gonna get things ready. Oh, hi Anna. Hey, get off my grass. Ooh, we got a big pupper here today. I'll be glad when we're done with beans. That bean dust, it sticks to everything and you open it up and it falls in your face. It's itchy, it's scratchy. Don't know if you can see it falling down. Whoops. Ah. Once we get done with beans, we'll clean up the combine, get that stuff off. Corn dust isn't near as dusty. Ah, kind of like a spider web, it just sticks to you. Got to grease up the machine, get it oiled up, check it over. Sometimes it's like now, it's like, I just want to go to the field. I really don't want to take time, but you know what? To take half hour or whatever it takes to kind of get things ready for today, it's easier to do it now than to not give the machine its time it needs. And then one day it breaks down and it takes eight hours to repair it. And you get a big repair bill because of being, I would call it being lazy to myself. So I'm gonna take the time, service it, get it ready to roll, and then we can run. My tummy's hungry for dinner. To me, that tire just seems like it leaking a little bit. You know, if I had three arms, I could hold the grease gun, I'd have a hand to open the door, and I'd have a hand to hold the camera. I'm gonna start eating my vitamins. Ha <laughs> dust. Now we gotta make a journey on top of the combine, get down in the motor compartment, and we got a couple grease circs up there to grease. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just looks like we're dripping a little bit of, looks a little suspicious. I'm not a real big fan of fluid in the back of the wheels, on the combine. I'm gonna crawl down in there. So down we go. Whee! You guys just about forgot to check the water. This is called a grease gun and a lot of people ask me, Daddy Corpstar, you guys need an electric grease gun. We have them. The boys, they use them a lot. Myself, I still like the old hand grip. I lost it. Oh geez. Okay. Oh geez, I about fell. We need to do a little equipment shuffling. We're gonna get the combine hooked up to the bean head. We got a John Deere engineer here today so we can show him how to do some stuff. And I'll show him how the red equipment works. That way he can copy all the ideas. <laughs> hey, when you were using the Thunder Creek fuel trailer, did you say thunder? I did not. I have a good friend that has a tractor just like this one. He actually gave me heads up on it and said, you need to check the filter on this tractor that when you're out chasing the combine around, it does get dirty and you need to tap it out every couple days. I won't give you his name for protection of the privacy of his name. It just wouldn't be the right thing to do. But I do want to thank you, Craig, for telling me about this. Bean dust is the worst because it just sticks into everything. First things first, we always put the safety bar down. So all we gotta do is unplug these two hoses, these two hoses, swap them, then we got an extra one, then we got two sets of wires, then we gotta put the PTO shafts on. You get all that? Got it. Now ideally at the end of the day, we would like to take a leaf blower and blow everything off, but we honestly haven't gotten around to that yet. Cause little stuff like this builds up all around the combine and this is really flammable. So if at the end of the day, we go through and clean all that stuff off, if we do have some sort of small fire, we have a lot less chance of a bunch of stuff catching on fire. Tractor mat. Back here, they got a nice tall lip so the dirt can't get above your lip here. And you can pull it away easy if you need to get underneath it. We actually take these floor mats out every so often to clean them with the hose. And then by the door, you can brim it right out. If you get on Cole's link, you get $15 off. And these things are very reasonable too. We have three of them now. I really, really like them. So check out the link, order one. They custom fit them for your tractor and you get $15 off. We'll let the machine warm up a little bit and then we just have a little half mile jaunt down the road and we on our last bean field, 105 acres to go. Sounds like Neva is gonna be the grain cart driver today. Woo! <laughs> so she's in responsibility of that. Are you nervous? Every time Neva steps out of the house, hey. I get nervous. <laughs> Cooper's heading out the field with Neva. He's going to kind of teach her how to run the grain cart today. So Neva knows how to do this. Red Rose SpaghettiOs. We had 
an accident. Had Zach up here in the combine and he bent the end of the, the bean head. That's supposed to be straight. Good thing we had He-Man here. Hey, those are some nice sunglasses. Did you go through the link in the description and get 15% off? I didn't. These beans are looking so much better than everything we've been in. My yield monitor has been basically staying above 70 the entire time. If this whole field looks like this, this could be a really, really good field. We're on a little bit of a hillside here in this field, and this definitely got affected by some of the drought, and we can see that on the yield monitor. It's kind of crazy that the bad yields in this field have been the best yields in other fields. So far, we have combined 31 acres, and I think it's finally time for Zach to take over the driver's seat. By the way, if you guys don't know who Zach is, Zach was my old college roommate, so we had some good times together. He is an engineer at John Deere. You don't work on combines though, do you? I don't work on combines. I know pretty much tractors inside and out, but I've never operated one myself, uh, aside from some trainings, anything like that. So anytime that I can get out into the field and get some hands-on experience and see how these products run in the field, I love actually being out here learning. Uh, my grandpa was a farmer and unfortunately he passed away a little bit younger before I could actually learn how to farm or do anything like that. Oh, you're pretty good on camera. Hey, maybe you should start a YouTube channel. Just wait, guys. Coming soon. Looks like we got another full grain cart. Looks like we're getting a flat tire. Don't take too long at all to fill up with that cart. Back up. Back up. So far, I think we've only caught a barbed wire fence. We bent a snoot, we lifted over a couple rocks. Oh, Zach also went over a foxhole. Hey guys, Luke back with you. Out here with Corn Star Farms doing a little bean harvest. Looks like I get to run the camera today. Well, just out here having fun. All I gotta say is these pit vipers are the real deal. Well, I better go chase that combine down. See you guys later. I don't know, Zach, can you do that without auto steer? I don't think. I don't think so. I had to walk away from the beans for a little bit. I got a grave to cover. We're kind of jumping around here, but cemetery always comes first. That worked out pretty good. It's getting dark out here at the cemetery. Tomorrow morning, we'll be digging another grave out here. Got a pretty good chunk done today for the time we got started. We got just about 69 acres done. We're getting chased out of the field. I don't know if you guys can see that coming across, but it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. The beans were already starting to get tough, so this just pushed it over the edge. So hopefully we'll be able to come back out tomorrow. Look at that rain. If you want to tell everybody to don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Alright, good job.